That was a good workout. And those sled pushes, they always kill me. They just... And now that we're only two weeks away, it feels pretty good. And I know I put in the work. And I feel confident because of that. I'm feeling great, man. I have a lot of respect for my opponent because, you know, every professional fighter is tough. There are no easy fights. And if you're looking for easy fights, then you're in the wrong business. But I'm, I'm confident not because my opponent isn't good. I just believe that I'm better everywhere. I believe that where my opponent is good, I'm really good. Uh, where my opponent has weaknesses, I have strengths. And this is actually the first time where we've been specifically looking at the opponent's style, strength and weaknesses. As an amateur, you don't really know who you're gonna fight until a couple of days before. You just know if he's a tall guy, if he's a short guy. And put all of my trust in the work that we've done uh, and the preparations that we've been doing. So when I leave my home, I say goodbye to my family. I don't take it for granted that I'm gonna see them again. It sounds dramatic because it's just a sport, but that's my mindset. I go into this ready to not come out of it, ready to leave it all in there. We'll see. It's either him or me. The shit is intense. <laughs> I'm blowing a pack of that OG. Don't be acting like you know me. And if you did, that's the old me. When the time rock a cold fleece, pocket fat, that's obese. Only token money if it's increased. She give me brain, girl, no teeth. I touch down, bust down. She bust it open for a real nigga. Stay Tommy up, trying to build it up, trying to count it up. Hell figures. Don't be chilling with no little niggas. And if I do, I be real with them. Chase a dream, that's a mill ticket. ISO gang, yeah, they still with us. I put it in motion, they got me steady. Thoughts on my mind. It's when Everything that we've been working on is, you know, coming together beautifully. And yeah, I gotta say, uh, today might have been the best session of this whole training camp. Now it's all about maintaining, you know, the hard work is already done. You, you won't get faster, stronger or anything like that. Um, I put in the work. I felt it today. We did four or five rounds. I could have done like five or four more, but let's save our energy. I've never been as ready in my entire life for a fight and uh, it's a beautiful feeling. And I'm actually feeling really good for this fight. This training camp has been perfect. I'm, I'm happy that my pro debut took such a long time because let's say five years ago, I don't think that I would have been able to handle all the pressure because five years ago, uh, mentally I was, I was still a kid, you know, I, I just wanted I wanted to fight professionally. I wanted to be famous and, and blah, blah, blah. Now that I'm here, I just, I just want to compete. I'm doing this for me and I'm doing this to challenge myself. I like doing this social media thing, but it can all go away. This is something that I'm doing for me. And uh, it's for that, that kid that used to dream about this, that insecure little kid that was bullied in school. Uh, I'm doing this for him, you know? Uh, I'm talking about myself, of course. I'm, I'm in the right place at the right time the way God intended for me. So uh, I'm feeling good, man. There's the work is done. There's nothing else I can do, but, you know, um, enjoy the process and uh, and have fun. The last the last couple of days before a fight, it's always a bit anxious because it means so much to me and uh, I'm, I, I can barely wait. But it feels good. I'm confident. I'm confident not because my opponent isn't good. I know my opponent is, I'm fighting a really tough opponent, but I've put in the work, I've done my part, and uh, now the, uh, the fun part is left. Well, the weight cut, and then the fun part. I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm about to go play some Call of Duty. See you guys.